thunderstorms and back there is a severe risk for severe weather or active weather. We do have severe weather. Hi everyone, beautiful fall colors across much of the northern U.S. and into Appalachia where you can see Beach Mountain showing off some amazing autumnal hues and even on satellite you can capture this. If you look closely you can see kind of that brownish orangish tinge there to the uh, geocolor satellites. So sunshine today, blue skies, just a lovely scene. Enjoy that fall color season. As uh, we take a look at our national forecast, so we do have warmer than average temperatures across the central part of the U.S. as we we do have a frontal boundary, a warm front tracking through some storms being generated as a trough moves in, but a cold front is also going to be advancing through the region, and this could be triggering some rounds of stronger storms. In fact, there is a severe risk for severe weather from Wisconsin down into Iowa, extending into Oklahoma, as we do have some rounds of stronger thunderstorms that are looking to develop into the day tomorrow. So we've got this first batch of rain and rumbles. There's that next cold front moving in could be generating some stronger thunderstorms. So we'll be watching for that, looking at some wetter weather for cities like Chicago into St. Louis. So we will be tracking uh, some more active weather. We do have severe weather considerations for the Ohio Valley for our Wednesday. We'll have to monitor the intensity of some of those storms. As we look at the forecast for tomorrow, still looking quite warm out ahead of that front. Hi everyone, as we take a look at our Big Bend National Park webcam time lapse, it certainly looks uh, nice and uh, beautiful with that blue sky, just a few clouds dotting the landscape. Many areas still staying dry, but we do have some storm threats as the frontal boundary is going to be tracking in. Now, keep in mind that we've got some rumbles generating from Oklahoma up into Missouri, and we'll see a, a new front tracking in from the north that will yet again fire up some rounds of rain and rumbles. And uh, this is what's going to maybe produce some stronger storms, actually actually as uh, we highlight the potential for severe weather for areas like Kansas City down into Oklahoma City. So the trough moves out. We've got this uh, front sinking in and just enough energy to squeeze out a few stronger storms. Low temperatures tonight will be bottoming out in the 60s and 50s. We've got periods of sunshine for many locations tomorrow, but watch out for some of those stronger storms from Missouri mainly into Oklahoma. High temperatures in the 80s. This front will bring with it cooler and drier air later this week.